Hey everybody, this is your calculus video on 2 4 one sided limits. Uh, basically, just means limits from one side, either the right or the left. So remember that in the case where you have a piecewise function, that limit would exist since the left limit. equals the right limit. But if you had like a function like this, um, the limit from the left is not equal. So the limits from the left and right are not equal. So the limit does not exist. And also, just as a reminder, um, sometimes the point exists or I should say sometimes the point is not where the limit is. So you could have the limit not equal to the um, to the actual point. So why we're studying this is remember we've described limits as it gets closer to C but remains not equal um, and the Y values get closer to what they call N. Usually we've been using L for limit. Um, whether we have a numerical argument or uh, parameter basically on the graph um, the variable x can get closer in only two ways either getting closer by approaching from the left from numbers less than c or from the right from numbers greater than c if we only go from one side it's a one-sided limit which is what our focus is on so um, when we're talking about approaching from one side suppose it's defined and in order for it to have a limit the values have to approach from either side which is two-sided which is ba basically what I described up there um, if it doesn't have a two-sided it may have a one-sided um, this is pretty technical um, it's basically saying that um, your left side would equal L, your right side is R, and if L equal R then it's a two-sided limit. Um, this is all pretty technical uh, writing from your book basically um, which I originally wrote, well not wrote but copied like typed. Um, so let's jump into the problems. Um, I guess before we do that, there's one more thing on sine theta over theta. So if we do that, sine x divide by, um, I meant x, sine x divide by x, um, that limit, well, the limit is 1, that's as high as it goes. Um, I need to pause this just for a minute. So on page 68, um, they have the graph of it right there. Um, and so they're saying that the, the limit is one. And it's undefined at actually the x-axis, but it's approaching one from both the left and the right.
Okay, so um, you are going to have some trig functions on here, um, and you may have to use a half angle formula. Let me jump to the page. Well, it says um, in example five, so that's um, this one where we have cosine y minus one over y, and we're trying to make it equal to, um, we have to use the half angle formula to make it sine squared. Um, I'll show you all how we do that um, if that problem's on there. And here's one with um, tangent, secant of a double angle, and so forth. So as you can see, some of them could get a little complicated. Okay, so now for our actual examples. Um, well, your general rules are to find limits, use the graph. This is like the most important part. Um, use the graph, substitute using C, substitute close to C, or factor first, then substitute. Sometimes we use a graph or a table to find limits. Um, with rational functions, do long division and substitute. And on the ones with square root, you have to multiply by the conjugate. And the trig ones sometimes require changing tangent to sine over cosine um, with a constant and working out each section. Okay, so here we go on problem one. Um, so on this one, we're saying x approaches 2 and then there's a plus, which means the right. So um, is the limit 4 from the right? So you go to where x equal negative 2, you go up, it is 4 from the right. It's not from the left because there's a dot and it doesn't continue. So these kind of go in pairs. So there's one true and one false. Uh, remember that math Excel is kind of random as far as what it goes on top or bottom. Um, and they could word it differently. Like they may put the minus problem first and the other one on bottom. Um, actually on this one um, they're talking about zero from the left and they're saying that limit is two and that'd be false because um, f of zero is two sorry um, f of zero equal two but the limit is zero Okay, and then on this one, does the left and the right at zero match? Yes, they do. Both match. Um, and then because they do match, then the limit exists and it was zero. So all those three kind of went together. Um, then it says, is the limit at 2 equal to 4. Um, no, in this case the limit from the left is 4 but from the right is 0. No, since from the left equal 4 and from the right it equals 0. Um, then they're saying um, limit from the left is 4, um, and yes, that is. Wait, uh, limit 4 from the left equal to 4. Um, 4 from the left, no, it's equal to 0. No, it's equal to 0. 
Okay, so there's your first one. Um, this one's a piecewise function, and they're saying from the left side it's 8 minus x, and from the right side it's x over 2 plus 3. So um, it wants to know 4 from the right, so this is where x equal 4, and from the right side it's at 5 because it's above, and the other one it's at 4, which is below. Um, does the limit exist? No, because they're not equal. No, because they're not equal. And then they're going to talk about the limit for x approaching 6 from the right and left. And so when we go to 6, it's this. And the left and right do both approach the same number, um, which is 6. So it's 6 for both of these. And so um, that's yes and equals 6. Um, this one has three pieces or three parts. Um, they have the left side of 5. And they want to get um, the one for the right side of 5 on this one, which is this one. And so our limit is 2 because that's our um, y value that they're approaching. And then from the left, it's also 2. And for the point itself, um, it's 3. So this point is 5 comma 3. So it's kind of like what we talked about on the previous lesson um, where it's like um, x comma y. Now does the limit exist? Yes it does because it approaches the same value. And in this case, it's 2. And then they want to know the limit um, 4 from the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4 from the right. It's this one, which is 3. So that's your 3. Then they want 4 from the left. And it's going to be the same number. So that was also 3. And because the left and the right were the same, um, then your answer was 3 for it existing and equaling 3. OK, now we have a cosine function. And so for this one, it's cosine 1 over x plus 1, which is kind of like wavy a little bit. And then they're, um, they're having the point, or actually having a line. Um, think about negative 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, etc. Um, that ray, basically, if you would. Okay. Um, so. The question is, does the limit of negative 1 from the left exist? Um, that's going to be no, because it varies. And then um, on B, it says, does the limit from the right exist? And yes, because it's 0. since it's on the x-axis, y equals 0. And then um, does the limit at negative 1 exist? No, because they're not the same. Anytime the left doesn't equal the right, then it's not the same. 
Okay, on this one you have another piecewise function, um, and they want you to graph it first. Uh, remember how to graph it. Go to your calculator and go to the button to the right of the 9 and then you want to go to the piecewise where it's 2 by 2 and we want 4 minus x squared <coughs> and then we just want 6 for this one we want x not equal to 2 and for this one we want x equal to okay so that's your graph now that point where it had six um, it's not visible at all they define it to be six um, based on the piecewise but I don't think you can zoom in and find it No. Um, so you just have to use your mind for that one. And they're having um, 2 with 6. So the dot has to be higher because that's the ordered pair 2, 6. And then other than that is the function. So the limit as x approaches 2 from the left is 0 and from the right is also 0 so the function I mean so the limit does exist and it's equal to 0 because this was the left this is the right and it's 0 since the left equal the right um, on this one um, you've got another piecewise function with three parts and the first one just wants you to graph it and so this is like a semicircle graph and this is a straight line at 6 and a dot at 12 12 so that's the one they want um, now the domain Notice that even though it said less than 6, over here it had a value for 6. And even though, though over here it was less than 12, this is equal to 12. So it really is defined at every point. So it is the whole thing. Um, so you could say from the function definition, um, it's not continuous but it is defined. It's not continuous, but it is defined. And being defined is what we need for the domain. <clears throat> now for the range, you look at the lowest value, um, which is gonna be zero, and then it's gonna go up to here, and then jump to 12. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, 0 to 6 and then 6 to 12. And the left limit only exists at 12 because let's right there because the right side doesn't exist and um, the right one exists at zero because the value would be six but the left doesn't exist so just think about um, on this one your far right and your far left okay um, so now for the range, when we were talking about 0 to 6, um, that was like with parentheses on the 0 and the bracket with the 6. 
and then also um, jump up to just the number 12. So uh, that one, the answer is over here, it's multiple choice. Uh, you'll probably have a drop down. Okay, um, that seems to be a good stopping point for this video. Um, we'll pick it up the next day.